What's up, everybody? This is the Game Virus, also known as the G-Virus, and I'm coming at you with a quick update here. The current state of my channel. Uh, we have been successfully uploading videos every day for nearly, I believe if my math is correct, eight months, 193 days. And um, I'm here to tell you that I've hit a bit of a snag. So in the next week, or maybe two, I'll be taking a slight break just to catch up on things so I guess you could say my year-long journey of daily uploads kind of is coming to an end at this point unfortunately but at the same time to be honest with you uh, I, I have been suffering a little bit of burnout from YouTube and YouTube burnout is a real thing um, that's one reason why I'm okay with this uh, week to two weeks of break to catch up on things and also, I could still maintain <clears throat> my daily uploads and put a video out um, coming up, but I would really be like on the heels, like, and plus I don't want to rush things. In order for me to keep the daily uploads going, basically I would have to rush the content that I'm doing right now. And I have some great videos coming out, some great playthroughs I have planned. I don't want to rush any of those, I want to take my time and make sure everything is top-notch and good, and good quality and you know also I got so so basically I left my time myself enough time to get ready and get stuff prepared because I was running out of videos uh, the Dead Space 3 let's play was ending and I knew I was gonna have to have some more stuff ready to go and I had left myself enough time to get that going so it wouldn't be so much of a crunch however I got sick which is not a big deal for me usually. I've done Let's Plays sick before, but I got sick in a way where I lost my voice for like for like a week. My voice was sounding horrible, you know? And even when it got better, it would still break and just sound terrible. I've, I've never lost my voice from being sick before, which is strange, but I, le legitimately. And you know? so I got sick, lost my voice, which, which, which set me back. Even with that being said, I could still rush and get you sell and, and get you and get you guys videos out but I would be rushing to keep the videos going from here on forward I don't think I'd be able to give myself enough leeway you know enough room to comfortably do them I don't want to have to be rushing so so the fact that I'm experiencing burnout to some degree because I have to drag myself to to, to make these videos I have to pull myself up it's it feels like a chore the fact that I'm experiencing that, you know, the, the fact that I'd have to be rushing to do this and the quality I feel would suffer just makes me believe I need to just take two weeks and unfortunately end the daily upload. Not end it, but it won't officially be daily if I take two weeks off, right? I took a two week break, but I figure, you know, 351 days out of 365 that I was aiming for is still pretty impressive, right? And at the end of the day, the whole point of this wasn't necessarily just to say, hey, I did. Well, it was. It wasn't just to say, oh, I did uploads for a year straight. It was to shed and rid myself of the hiatuses that I've been going on since the inception of this channel, since the creation of it. I would always disappear for months. One time I disappeared for a year with no uploads. So the whole point of it was to have a very permanent presence on YouTube and see what happens. And I have definitely seen growth. Uh, the subscribers are coming in, the views were high, everything was great. And uh, I am proud of that. And like I said, it was 193 days of straight uploads, an upload per day. It's still good. And um, even though I said I'm experiencing burnout, I am in no way, shape, or form trying to stop doing this at all. I just need a slight break. And it's not even a break to recover. And it's not even a break to do nothing. It's literally to get the videos up, so even though I'm feeling the burnout, I'm still going to be working on this shit. But it's just feeling that burnout along with the pressure of having to rush and get them up is no bueno. Plus, like I said, these next videos are going to be good ones. Okay, you guys have been waiting for Resident Evil 2. That's coming. In order for me to keep the uploads coming daily, I would have to rush through that. And I don't want to rush through that. I also have Devil May Cry 3 coming, and I'm very excited for Devil May Cry 3. I have a feeling it's probably going to be the best one out of the three we've done so far of the original trilogy. I don't want to rush that. 
And like I said, I could keep him coming, but I would have to rush him out, and I would probably keep rushing. I have to do it throughout the duration of both those playthroughs. I'd have to keep doing it. And also, there's another playthrough of a, of a really special game that would be blind that I wanted to do as well. I don't want to have to rush that, you know. So I basically want to be able to put the quality that I want to put into it, and not have to, you know, give myself some leeway. And you know, I, I don't want to rush these playthroughs. And if I have to, if 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 I continue the everyday upload thing and you know without a break in between like I need a one or two week break I think the quality will suffer and I will be I'll be even more burnt out than I am now but so I think two weeks is all I need and I will be in good shape and we will be back on track so hey it, if two weeks is all I need to have another what 193 days of uploads I think that that's fine this is the longest I've ever consistently uploaded, had a consistent presence on YouTube. So it sucks that I didn't get to the 365 straight. But like I said, if I do 351 with a break in between, that's still awesome to me. Um, and who knows? Maybe I'll be slick about it and maybe I'll do live streams like an hour a day if I can just to keep the uploads going technically that counts as an upload you know it sits on your channel afterwards as an upload don't it you know it might have been live but afterwards it's still accessible it's on demand afterwards so I'm thinking I might give that a shot we shall see that would be pretty cool but at the end of the day it really comes down to quality and making things not hard I don't want to burn myself out any further I don't want to I don't want to be stressed out about it. Uh, it was it, it was unfortunate. Like I I honestly believe I would have been able to make it if I hadn't gotten sick. Everything would have went as planned. But I was already kind of struggling a bit. I never intended for for it to to just have Dead Space be the sole playthrough going on in my channel, and that was already because I kind of got behind on what I wanted to do. But that was more so of um, being busy in in real life. Um. It was, there, there was, it was supposed to be Devil May Cry after The Walking Dead had ended, the 400 days. I was supposed to have another playthrough ready to take its slot, but that didn't get ready. And I was like, alright, a little further down the line, I'll have it ready to go, and that didn't happen. And then DMC ended, and I was just so behind that I was just like, alright, I'll just wait till they run out, and then I'll have the next wave of, of episodes ready as soon as the finale of Dead Space takes place. But that didn't happen, and uh, yeah. For, for sure, there's not going to be a huge hiatus. Those who are new, you don't know what I'm talking about. For those who have been around for a long time, this, this is why I decided to do the 365 everyday upload thing. Was to shed myself of the whole hiatus thing that I did on my channel that hindered my growth and all that stuff. And uh, also to test out the whole everyday upload being the best way to go about things on YouTube. And it absolutely was. I definitely saw great growth. When I had three uploads in rotation, once I switched, once I got behind and Dead Space was like the only thing going, things dropped a bit, but, you know, I think once I take a couple weeks off, and, and, and to be honest, 365 uploads isn't healthy, you know, like, like I said, I got burnt out, I think, even though I'll be working, it'll be really no stress behind it, you know, because I, I won't really be rushing, so to speak. So I think I'll get to relax a bit still, even though I'm still working on the vids, it won't be as intensive, intense and like, you know, worrying, stressful, it will be less stress. So that's pretty much how things are going to go. Um, like I said, Resident Evil 2 is coming, you know, if, if maybe if I wasn't doing Resident Evil 3 and it wasn't DMC 3, I might have just said, fuck it. I'll rush through it. I think my quality is still pretty good even when I rush. But those two games, I don't want to rush through nothing. I want them, I want to be at my best, make the best intros I can, get some good thumbnails. Because, you know, doing all, doing the thumbnails is really annoying. The thumbnails and the intro and all the overlays I fucking have on my videos, those things might seem minor. 
but doing those for every video plus leveling the volume and all that stuff the post production that needs to be done is tricky I honestly contemplated just uploading the vids raw just with the gameplay and commentary and no frills no extras no trimming on it at all that would have been no intro no overlays no end card music no thumbs nothing just putting it up there to continue the 365 thing and to be honest I just I didn't want to do that that would be the only way I could have really caught up without stopping you know caught up and had some leeway without stopping is if I just you know just you know and that's what a lot of youtubers do who do let's plays they do that and they have a singular thumbnail that tells you what the video is and what the game is and the number is the only thing that changes but I don't do that I have thumbnails that 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 change with every video it's it's usually a snapshot of something from that video and you know they, they have different colors and stuff like that and you know finding a good and like I take my time to find a good picture if I can you know like what will draw people in when they see this or what looks good from a um, what do you call it from a graphic design or a photography type of way you could say or whatever they say when you're I, forget, I can't I'm blanking on the term for it but all that stuff is really the stuff that takes the longest time you know actually doing the video where you're where I'm playing and doing commentary of course that takes time but I can knock those out it's the post production and then we're talking like 20 plus videos of doing that that's what takes the time and like like I said I want the intro to be good and I want the thumbnails to be good and all that stuff so I did contemplate just uploading them very basic I and mean, I thought that would have been cheating I can't do that to Resident Evil 2 I can't do that to DMC 3 the last entry I did from DMC 2 was great I want to continue making a great one and from what I've seen of DMC 3 there's plenty of footage to go off on a little a little creative insider for you in information what it takes for me to have a good intro because like if I could sit back and look at my intros I can honestly say that there are some that are better than others of course but what makes an intro good in my hands will be how much material I have to work with okay so for instance Devil May Cry 1 didn't really have a lot of cutscenes I mean it had cutscenes but they were just talking it wasn't a lot of action it wasn't a lot of stuff to manipulate and use the MC2 had a bit more not ideal but it had a bit more that's why we have what we have here but the MC3, I can already tell it's going to have a crap ton of stuff for me to manipulate and use for a great intro. You might even get two intros out of DMC3 because there's so much stuff. Most of the demo reel for the, like the trailer for this HD collection for PS3, most of it came from DMC3. Most of the quotes, the stuff where he shoots the screen, all that, most of it came from DMC3. Him playing the guitar and surfing with people. So I already know there's going to be a, a, more than enough stuff to manipulate to make a great intro so expect some great intros from DMC 3 and Resident Evil 2 some great stuff and like I said I didn't want to have to in order for me to, 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 to pump this shit out in time I would have had to probably dial back on that stuff or rush through that stuff but I didn't want to so this is this is the best course of action as far as as far as um content is concerned you're gonna get good content because I did this so if you're upset that I didn't I didn't manage to keep up with my everyday upload at least know that you're gonna be getting quality content and at least know that above all of this what's most important is shedding the hiatus thing that I've done for so many years and I do believe I have shed that 193 days straight that thing's been obl obliterated that that isn't my mo anymore um, even though I'm going on a break, I will promise you this will not be. I will make every possible effort I can to make sure that this does not take a long ass time again. You know. Um, so I can already tell you, you can expect DMC three and um, Resident Evil two remake next. Um, the third game, I'm not quite sure what it'll be. I have a, a, a couple, in, a few in mind, but they're all great. They're all great titles. So I'm gonna work on that and get that shit up. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to go for another, another nearly eight months of straight uploads or whatever, you know. <sighs> but um, you know, RE2, I love it. Um, and I was playing that thing for a long time. I know I said I would have it up as quickly as I could after it came out, but man, listen, listen, fuck it. I had to take my time. 
with it. But, uh, I think currently I've played that thing, man, almost eight times. Because you you know you got to do it on a regular difficulty uh, four different times, right? Yeah, yeah, you got to do it like Leon A, Claire B, then then Claire A, Leon B. So that's four. And then I wanted to do it on professional mode. So that's like eight different playthroughs you gotta do for that damn thing. And I play that game slow, okay? That's, if you've played RE2 before, you gotta play it slow to, to, to soak in everything. But anyway, I don't need to be getting into all that. We'll save all that for when the video comes. But hopefully, hopefully in a couple weeks, um, I will have shit up um, and going. And, I, and like I said, this is all for quality. I could have still brought you guys stuff but the quality might have been lacking and, uh, yeah that's pretty much it um i will see you guys in two weeks i need a two-week break to get things in order see you guys then thank you for watching i appreciate it this is the game virus see you guys very soon and thank you for your understanding later